Hey guys, welcome to my channel Learn with Komali. In this video, let's understand some of the key facts about Aditya L1 mission. Aditya L1 mission. It is India's first mission to study sun by ISRO. So let's start the video with this burning question. The temperature of the visible surface of the sun, that is photosphere, is around 6000 degrees Celsius. But above a thousand kilometers from the photosphere, the corona temperature reaches 10 lakhs degrees Celsius. What is the mystery of this temperature inconsistency? There are many such mysteries that the sun has contained in itself. Even after so much technological and scientific advancement, we humans are unaware of them. But now, to expose these mysteries, ISRO is planning to launch the Aditya L1 mission. What is the Aditya L1 mission? In this mission, Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, plans to launch Aditya L1, a coronography spacecraft, to study the solar atmosphere and corona of the sun. Corona? Is this related to COVID-19? No. So, corona is nothing but the outer layer or the outermost portion of the sun's atmosphere and it is mainly comes of plasma that is the hot ionized gas and the Aditya L1 mission previously it was named as Aditya 1 and this Aditya takes its name from the Sanskrit name of the sun Aditya and the Lagrange point where it will place is L1 Lagrange point. What is this Lagrange point? So okay before understanding about this Lagrange point, one more point to notice here is that Aditya L1 is the first Indian dedicated mission to observe the sun which is planned to be launched by the PSLV-40 launch vehicle. Now let's come to Lagrange point. In simple words, the Lagrange point is an orbit type in the space between two bodies like the sun and the earth where the gravitational force of both the planets is balanced and anything at these points is in a state of equilibrium that is and for this reason if you place any satellite or spacecraft at these points you need very little fuel consumption to move this because the body is free from any repulsion and attraction force it only the body only stays in the state of equilibrium that's why we can also call it as parking points of space so simply Lagrange points are nothing but the points at which we can place a satellite or a spacecraft to study about the any two different bodies. Here in our case, between Sun and Earth, we are placing that satellite. Now, there are like various uh, uh, Lagrange points, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5, between our Earth and Sun. Then, why ISRO has chosen L1 Lagrange point? Here you can see that there are like five Lagrange points and you can also see the distance from the Earth and the stability and the specifications. L1 provides us an opportunity to view the sun in an uninterrupted way. And L2 is used uh, like it is the ideal location to study deep space. And L3 is like it's a very farthest Lagrange point from the Earth. And L4 is like 60 degrees ahead of Earth where Earth was two months ago and 60 degrees behind the Earth is L5 where Earth will be two months uh, time, okay? So here in this picture you can clearly observe like what are all those Lagrange points and their placement between Earth and Sun. Now Aditya location is at L1, okay? And L1 is like 1.5 million kilometer from the Earth. Its distance from the Earth is 1.5 million kilometers. And not just this, seven science payloads are carried by the spacecraft. A list of all the payloads that were used for the mission is visible emission line coronagraph, solar ultraviolet imaging telescope, Aditya solar wind particle experiment, plasma analyzer package for Aditya, solar low energy X-ray spectrometer, high energy L1 orbiting X-ray spectrometer, magnetometer. These payloads are like designed by various institutes. And coming to the main objectives of the L1 mission, the study of the dynamic nature of the sun's outermost layers, 
the corona and the chromosphere and gather information about coronal mass ejection cme and also to study on origin of solar flares and their direction via the interplanetary space from the sun to the earth the examinations will also include the collection of data for space weather prediction coming to the coming to its launch date isro's aditya l1 mission is also postponed like any other missions due to the covid-19 pandemic and now it is uh, uh, going to be launched by 2023 in january that's it for this video guys for more such interesting videos please subscribe to my channel learn with gomali